is the Tents Mahal. Actually, it's the Napier Outdoors 84,000 SUV tents. That's right, I said 84,000, not model 84. Not model 8400, no, no, this blue monstrosity of polyester required an ordered magnitude or two over normal, practical family tent model numbers. It's actually been a really damn good tent. Well, that is if you have about 12 cubic feet free to transport the damn thing. You can get it on Amazon or Cabela's, but I'm a cheap bastard, so I bought it off a guy in a Walmart parking lot who said he got an extra one for free by mistake. Yep, that's the world I'm living in. I wish I had a picture of that for illustrative purposes, but I don't, so here's some other crap that goes on in Walmart parking lots. Welcome back to the channel and on today's episode, we are kicking the tires on this SUV tent that I have had for a couple of years now. Stick around to the end of the video to see me carry this thing like a Sherpa up the side of a mountain. That should be fun. This is the Napier Outdoors 84,000 and it's nearly identical to the Napier 82,000, except that this is the Taj Mahal model with the extra extended screen room. So why buy a tent Mahal? Well. I have a family of four and a medium-sized dog, and after a few years of dragging them out into the woods, I realized that, well, they complain less when they're comfortable. I used to just throw a sleeping bag on the ground, pull a bug net over my face, and go to sleep, but then I got married. Now I have to drag this out every time I want to sleep in the woods. Which brings us here to freaking crazy town. I mean, you could put a couple of elephants and a half dozen clowns under this big top and you'd still have room for the cotton candy dude in the screen room. Now for being so big, it actually goes up pretty easily. You just roll it out, attach four fiberglass poles to a top connector, and then raise the roof with four heavy duty shot corded poles on the corners. Ancillary rooms are a bit flimsier. The screen room uses a one pole across the top design and a couple more shot corded steel poles that run at an angle back to the corner of the tent. The front of the screen room needs to be staked out. On the SUV side, you've got this tunnel thing that is designed to attach to the car. Now that worked really well when we had a lift hatch like the one on my old Acura MDX. Unfortunately, with the swing out door on the GX, it's not super practical. The door would kind of be in the middle of the room when we left it open. I've just got it kind of mocked up for illustrative purposes for the video. Now, one more note on using this sucker as an SUV tent. I don't know about you guys, but when I get to camp, the back end of my car generally looks like this. You don't really want to bring all that dirt into your sleeping area. It would probably work great on asphalt or graveled roads where the car doesn't get that dirty though. You can also zip off the whole SUV tunnel and leave it at home. On that note, I believe you can remove the screen room if you want to make it a bit more compact, but then you'd really only have a half Mahal. Who wants a half Mahal? Go for the full Taj. The screen room is fantastic. It's our favorite part of the tent. It gives the kids a place to retreat without having to get in bed at night. It gives Jill and I a warm place to sit after the kids go to sleep, and it just makes the tent feel huge. It doesn't have a floor, but we usually drag a 10 by 20 tarp underneath both the tent and the screen room. The awning side works great as a nice little place to enjoy a view or cook in a light rain. Speaking of getting rained on, the last time we had this guy out, it rained on us all night. I was super impressed, to be honest with you, of how well it kept us dry. It rained for about eight hours on us, and this thing only had a tiny bit of water make its way inside. I did go through and silicone the crap out of all the seams, especially around the bathtub bottom, but the fly came seam taped. It covers the main roof of the tent, as well as having an awning integrated zip down panel. We got stuck in a monsoon in a leaky tent once. I woke up to find our mattress floating around the floor like Noah's Ark. It was scary. I almost had to eat the chill. It takes about 15 minutes to set up with one person, but closer to 30 to put it away. It's kind of a beast at 50 pounds, actually, so there's a small amount of wrestling involved usually. Well, that's about the long and the short of the Tent Mahal here. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, please smash that button like a mosquito at happy hour. Leave me a comment or two about all the crap I got wrong and how bad my jokes are. Now here's that clip of how I got this here. Like a Sherpa. Is 
about the benefit of a suntan. <laughs>